Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to Almus Market Mornings, where we bring to you the latest in the world of financial markets. Now, it is quite an eventful September with multiple central bank meetings. Uh, this week, especially, is very important. Uh, we have the US Fed meeting on 21st, and we also have the Bank of Japan on 22nd. And we have multiple other central banks uh, also during this week and next. Uh, now, speaking of Japan, there is quite a bit of pressure on BOJ, which has continued with its yield curve control. Uh, basically, what this means is that they have tightly controlled the yields in the country to not exceed a particular threshold. Now, what this has uh, resulted is uh, it has caused a bit of pressure on the Japanese yen as the yield differential with every Fed rate hike has increased between US and Japan. Now, also in the currency segment, we are seeing some minimal action uh, from majors like euro and dollar, uh, which seems to be rangy before the FOMC. Uh, JK, good morning. Uh, rangy dollar good index. Morning. Uh, Euro, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, just a calm before uh, some some kind of storm. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, good morning. Uh, so this uh, Federal Reserve officials are uh, supposed to be on a blackout period uh, ahead of the Fed meet, and uh, markets seem to be on a sit out period uh, during uh, the last uh, few sessions, and probably going into the meeting till tomorrow night. Uh, all my Markets have been quiet, and the uh, yields uh, have just tried to push higher into new territory. Uh, in definitely, uh, two-year and uh, ten-year uh, yields in the U.S. Uh, uh, made a new cycle high. Uh, two-year almost uh, touching uh, four percent, a very attractive rate. But just to put it in perspective, the Fed's terminal rate itself uh, is likely to be around four and a half percent, which the market is. Uh, now discounting. Uh, stocks also, uh, I think, ended in small green, but then uh, we had a big sell-off last week and uh, it's a period of consolidation. Uh, the only uh, point which market is looking, uh, apart from the Fed meeting, is how the housing sector is uh, performing. Yesterday's uh, National Housing uh, Builders Association uh, data actually showed the sentiment is uh, uh, quite down, uh, demand is quite down because of uh, higher mortgage rates and uh, they don't see it improving anytime soon with uh, even Fed rates going even higher. Uh, today we'll have more, con you know, more evidence on the housing sector and the housing starts and the building permits data is uh, uh, declared. There are of course some voices of corporates and analysts looking, you know, for uh, Fed to slow down, uh, you know, voices of concern, uh, uh, like we had uh, Elon Musk stating that, and then we had uh, FedEx uh, uh, saying the slowdown is already impacting them. And then one of the uh, famous analysts, Kathy Wood, also calling for, uh, you know, actually saying that Fed is probably going uh, too far into uh, hiking into a market which is into a, an economy which is uh, already slowing down. It's a very interesting uh, thing that you know the corporates are starting to protest against uh, the mild uh, you know uh, disagreement with the Fed's approach of hiking policy into a slowing economy. Uh, we also had uh, uh, one uh, report which said that uh, uh, in a Wall Street Journal report which said that actually uh, the Fed Chairman Powell, uh, last minute he changed his uh, address at Jackson Hole to sound more blunt amid uh, concerns that invest investors were reading, mi rather misreading his intentions given the need to slow the economy to combat high inflation. Uh, so uh, if you remember before Jackson Hole, the market was uh, looking at a uh, Fed put and uh, that was uh, belied after he made uh, his uh, uh, strongly hawkish uh, statement and uh, complete focus on inflation at the Jackson Hole meeting. That was quite an interesting thing. Not a market mover, but definitely it is an indication of in intentions of the Fed. Uh, in the oil market, of course, uh, it has once again bounced from support levels. Considering tight supplies, uh, notwithstanding the expectation of lower consumption due to slowing economies, uh, it's unlikely that prices will fall much further from here, at least looking at the charts. And we are looking uh, for reactions uh, after the price gap, price caps come into force uh, later this year and how it would uh, affect Russia's supplies to 
non-European nations. Uh, uh, dollar uh, remains solidly in the uptrend, but uh, it's mild profit taking uh, by players, uh, you know, uh, particularly uh, at the lows of the currencies ahead of the Fed decision. Uh, small percentage of traders expect uh, Fed language may be less hawkish, but that may be more of a wish rather than you know an objective uh, uh, you know outcome. Uh, however, we are uh, more looking at the terminal rate, uh, which is now almost perched near 4.5 percent, rather than whether it is 0.75 or 1 percent. Uh, so that's not very important. Uh, you mentioned about Japan. Yes, today Japan also declared their core consumer inflation, which is quickened to. 2.8%, uh, which is the highest annual rate in nearly eight years. But again, uh, hardly any implications for the Japanese policy, which is at the wheel curve control of 10 year yields at 0.25%. Uh, uh, they are aware that you know any loosening of this uh, would uh, result in huge market turbulence, although it, it could achieve uh, strength in the end. Uh, but I think they are more concerned about the impact on the economy uh, uh, in this regard. That's why I think we don't see much reaction from uh, Japanese authorities to this. Uh, uh, coming to India, of course, we, we, we are not too different from the global markets. Uh, rupee in a tight range. Uh, RBI, uh, <clears throat> RBI expected to cap it uh, if it goes up. So uh, we are only following the flows. Uh, of course, market was... Uh, Looking at uh, uh, RBI statement in the bulletin, which uh, where they said uh, the uh, front loading of rates is uh, is required to anchor inflation expectations, and uh, probably market uh, bond market was reacting to it yesterday and day before. Uh, you know about the 17 basis points rise from 7.10. Uh, is uh, what um, we have seen in the uh, uh, 10 year yield. Uh, also of note uh, is our ability in mentioning that 19 billion of uh, reserves were sold uh, a net sale of 19 billion dollars in the market by rbi uh, you know uh, as an intervention and that's quite a large amount uh, i think for medium term what we look at is how far this space of intervention will continue and how this can change without a large influx of uh, flows or uh, big change in the trade deficit. That's the big question for medium term uh, rupee view. Otherwise, uh, we are in the ranges for the very near term. Thank you. Uh, thank you, JK. And uh, I really like one of the statements you made, you know, uh, that some market participants are expecting, uh, you know, a, a, a mildly hawkish statement from Fed. And it might more be a wish, uh, more, it, it would more be like a wish than an outcome. Uh, so that's uh, really interesting in a world where you know, such statements really impact uh, how the currencies move. Uh, of course, uh, as JK mentioned, rupee continues to be in a tight range and there has been some impact due to uh, constant intervention uh, by RBI. Uh, of course, this entire space is very interesting uh, we, uh, because there are talks of uh, bond index and other inflows and there might be possible outflows from equities. So very, very interesting space. Uh, now, ahead of the Fed meet, uh, markets, of course, can be a bit more uh, volatile. Uh, so let's keep our risk management practices in place. Uh, that's it uh, from us today. Have a very good day. Uh, thank you.